Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to show you another product from Focusrite, part of the Fast Bundle, and is the Fast Compressor. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so as you can see, um, familiar interface in terms of the Fast Compressor. For example, is uh, similar in terms of uh, the learning uh, capabilities from an artificial intelligence perspective, the um, universal in terms of deciding uh, what instruments uh, as input you're going to have, if it is a, a vocal, snare, etc. And then you're profiling here as well um, when uh, um, you have done your learning process. So I have a track here which I've compiled which I composed using actually Beatmaker 3. So let's uh, listen to it a little bit. So the first thing you want to do, it's a compression, but let's click on Learn as the track is playing so that it can uh, propose the best adjustment. As you can see, the I have... Um, you have the an, an interesting help as well, a context help. In this case, it says uh, start the learning process. After learning, the plugin will automatically set all crucial compressor parameters, which is really nice. So I'm going to play a little bit of track and have the learning option enabled. And as you can see, as uh, it has finished learning, the learning will become a relearn option. Now you can uh, have access here to decide um, what type of compressor you would like to have. So a neutral one, uh, which is more a balanced and neutral compression, maybe a softer one, it's, it's a subtle compression or a hard one, which is a more a powerful compressor. You have option here to change the input and also the output as well and this a here is for your auto gain as well which sometimes is great sometimes it's not here you have a fast and detailed view as in other controls and plugins from the fast bundle on the fast view you can adjust the compressor here click and hold apply that and on the detail view you have adjustment for the compression the threshold for the compression the ratio in terms of how much uh, the ratio is for compression then you can decide the attack and the release for the compression and in terms of how long it will take to actually go and for the signal to become fully compressed in the release um, um how long it will take actually to go to a non-compressed state then you also have uh, a profiling really the knee value as a standard for any other um, compressor so it really allows you to decide if you want if you can have a soft knee or a hard knee so if you want to have a more abrupt or more gradual um, way in which the compressor comes in then you have the drive and wet uh, a signal here and then here you have a spectral balance which allows you well to remove those imbalances a little bit and then you have some really nice visual here for the left and, right, left and right channel and also in the middle you will see in a moment also the compression you can uh, save preset choose the preset you can go inside the additional settings uh, here and then of course you can bypass in and you have undo and redo option so it's pretty standard in terms of how it works so let's play with it a little bit You can see also near the neutral here when I selected there is a reset option and that is uh, resetting the flavor because uh, I have changed some of the parameters so you can click on it and it will reset them okay So you can see the effect here of changing the compression and you can see it also on the red uh, vertical bar here.
One other thing I like is that it shows you here the attack on the visual and also on the release as well. So it's really, really nice as, um, as a type of um, visual and, um, and showing what really is changing on uh, the waveform on the input. You see how dramatic it is here when you have uh, auto gain on. So it really changed the output level. Try it one more time. Again, you see how dramatic the changes are when you actually you change the the um, the flavor here. You can see it on the visual. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on fast compressor. And as always, see you next time. Bye.